the warm tropical island in a blue sparkling sea and a happy sailor and friends who call it their home and you think with sun and a sunny beach what a perfect life it would be but you'll have to see for yourself the places they roam hey oh hey oh about hot? I mean, we're talking hot. I don't even have the strength to walk down to the beach and cool off. It's never been this hot on the island before. You ask me, it's never been this hot anywhere before. Mm. It's not nearly as hot as the day I took the place of the bravest bull in Spain. Now, that was a real scorcher. Took the place of a bull? Well, you do have the right qualifications. You're big, loud, and clumsy. But I doubt that anyone at the bullfight really believed that you were a bull. Of course they believed it, and so would you, Oscar. I think I've just been insulted. It was a sight that even astonished me. The hot sun blazing down on the sand of the Plaza del Toros. The sound of the trumpets in the air. And 50,000 Spaniards all screaming at me. Toro! Ole! Golly! Could anyone who was there ever forget that day? Sure! Since it didn't happen. Oscar, I bet you think I'm gonna get angry at you for doubting my honesty. Well, guess again. You see, I'm happy you don't believe me, because now I've got good reason to prove to everyone that what I've been saying is true. Sounds like the start of another adventure. Then we'd better start practicing our bullfighting, right? Toro! Toro! Come on, you puny little bull. Let's see what you can do. Good, but not good enough. I guess it must be the heat. I've got a feeling that things are going to get a whole lot hotter before this adventure is over. Ah, what a pleasant day. Just sitting here and relaxing in my nice cool cave. With a glass of cold orange juice. Ah. I'll pretend I didn't hear that and they'll go away. <coughs> now listen, whoever you are, go away! We're all closed up for the day, you understand? Oh, come on, Grandma, it's me, Carlos! Hmm. What a lovely bonnet. You look wonderful. Whenever you start paying me compliments, I know you're after something. If you're here to borrow a raft for one of your crazy adventures, forget it. Everything's been put away neat and tidy, so there. Even if I give you this special gift? Well, isn't that sweet? Oh, goody, I can't wait to see what it is. It's just a little Take something. Take it over. Ooh, and a ribbon, too. It looks quite nice. What is it, Carlos? Go on, give me a clue. It's a unique and very special picture. Unique and special? How wonderful. Where? <laughs> Hey, what is this, a joke? What's so beautiful about this? There's a portrait of a beautiful person on the other side. Just turn it over. Oh, well, now, aren't you nice? I do believe you're right at that. Mm. I've got just the raft you need. See, I told you we were going on another adventure. You were right, Carlos. Grandma will believe anything you tell her. Is that so? You really think I fell for that sweet talk? <laughs> Here. Oh, hey, I thought you liked it. Don't be angry. He was just trying to do something nice for you. 
Yeah, nice for Carlos. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do for you, fat boy. Fat boy? I love it when she calls him fat boy. I'm gonna go find you that raft so that you and the kids can go on that adventure. And why am I gonna do it? Here's why. Because what you did was so sweet. Oh, thank you, Carlos. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Of course it is. Now then, everyone aboard, it's time for you to get going. All oh, right, let's do it. Right behind you. <laughs> hmm. Hey, wait a minute. I don't see how we're ever going to get where we're going since none of us know how to drive this thing. No problem. I'll take care of everything. Here we go. Hold on, everyone. Welcome to sunny Spain. Uh oh, does that music mean what I think it does? It's the music they play just before the bull enters the ring, Oscar. Hmm. He looks tough, but he's no match for a master of the martial arts. What we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> that was a close one. Gotta go now. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our bullfighting clown. Well now, I guess that answers your question. Hey, Carlos, he never told me I was going to have to play a clown on this adventure. Just wait, there's a whole lot more to it than that. Well, it 
It's been pretty exciting so far, and we've barely begun. I bet I could be a bullfighter. I'd just try a little karate on him. Huh? huh? Where did that horrible sound come from? I've never heard anything like it, have you? What do you think it was, Carlos? Well, the last time I heard a sound like that was when Oscar found out that we'd run out of crackers. Guess we'd better go find out. <laughs> Juanito, don't cry. I promised you you wouldn't get hurt, didn't I? <laughs> After having known each other for so long, I could never hurt you. We're much too close for that. <laughs> That's right. I think of you as part of the family. I've known you since you were a little baby bull growing up on my rancho. Oh, what a wonderful friendship. What a beautiful story. It's almost as good as that Lassie movie. Maybe I can help. Don't worry, it'll be all right. There, now. Excuse me, sir, but if you don't want to hurt your friend, why don't you just refuse to fight against him in the ring? Not fight, you must be joking. No one can force you to do it if you really don't want to. Look, I, Antonio Pablo Bugandilla de Reynaldo Jr., I force myself to go into the ring. Sounds like it's gonna be a pretty crowded bull ring. I'd love to stay in chat, but I'm making a mint out there. You want a hot dog? No, thanks. Pablo? That's Juanito's favorite food, but with double mustard. Hot dog! Hey, listen, no special orders. I'm just a hot dog vendor, not some fancy Parisian restaurant. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Three mustard dogs coming right up. Gracias. Here you are. Hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you fake the bullfight, then? When I took karate classes, we used to go through all the motions of a fight without really hitting each other. That way, no one would get hurt. You know, when a bull is very brave, he's allowed to live, so we could fix the fight to look like that. What do you think, Juanito? Hot <laughs> dog! Yeesh, is that all you think about? You're going to get fat. All right, enjoy, but don't eat too many. You might turn into a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and a pleasure to introduce that world-famous matador, Antonio Pablo Bugandilla de Reynaldo Jr. Sick? You ate too much. Now I have to fight another bull. Ready? Your attention, please. Since Juanito is ill today, his place will be taken by Marco, the killer bull. Marco? We'll take a short break to allow Pablo to bid farewell to his friends and family. Pablo, why are you so upset? Now that you don't have to fight Juanito, you should be happy, shouldn't you? I'm happy for Juanito. He's me. I'm worried about. Marco has big horns. No bull's more dangerous. Too bad about Juanito. Since you two had everything worked out, of course, if he hadn't eaten all those hot dogs, he'd be fine now. But he couldn't resist. Chop, chop, chop. Hey, why are you looking at me that way? I didn't force him to eat all those hot dogs. He's all your fault. What? If you hadn't shown up with those silly hot dogs, Juanito wouldn't be sick. Now, because of you, I'm going to be thrown all over the ring. Take it easy, Pablo. We'll think of something. I pluck his feathers. 
Phew, thanks, guys. That was close. Getting angry at Oscar won't solve anything. It's just a waste of time. Maybe you are right. I guess time is something I'm running out of. Now listen, as I see it, the main problem is that you've got to face Marco. So, the answer is to find another bull. There are no others, just Marco. I can take Marco's place. The problem is how to stop him from going into the ring. That reminds me of an old saying we parents have. When a bull is sleeping, he can't fight. All we need is a glass of warm coconut milk. Let's see. Coconut. Portable stove. Saucepan. You see, what did I tell you? You're right, he's sleeping like a baby. So far, so good. Now what are we gonna do? The first thing I'll need is a couple of those cone-shaped peanut holders you've got there. <laughs> These will do fine. Now I'll need that old blanket as well. Oscar, you still got that portable sewing machine of yours? Uh-huh. You know the old saying, a parrot without a sewing machine is a dodo bird. Yep, when I get through with you, you're gonna be the fiercest looking bull anyone's ever seen. It's hard to believe, but it looks like that story Carlos told us about taking the place of the bull is true. Yep, sure looks that way. Hey, what's wrong with Pablo? Oh, I shouldn't have eaten that other hot dog. It appears that our matador, Antonio Pablo Bougainvillea and so forth, is too ill to continue. Lady! Pablo will be replaced by the bravest and fiercest matador in all of Spain, El Condeteria! You speak Spanish, don't you? What does that mean? I think it means the butcher. Now I'll show them just how brave a bull can be. They'll be talking about this fight for years to come. If Pablo wants a victory, he'll have to work for it. Hey, bull, quit stalling. What are you waiting for? An invitation? Go on. Get in there. Take it easy, will you? I was just getting ready to go in. Okay? Yeah! I have never seen a bull so eager to be slaughtered by Elkan Atheria. Carlos doesn't stand a chance. We've got to do something, but what? Listen, guys, I've got an idea. Hey, that doesn't look like Pablo. I don't think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> is that what I think it is? <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed, we just did. 
I know you will pay for it. I never lost a bullfight in my life, and now I lose to some guy who's pretending to be a bull. <laughs> Carlos, you were terrific! Why, oh, Carlos, you won! If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. After a fight like that, you must be thirsty. Would you like a drink? <sighs> I saw what happened, and all I know is you owe me a raft. That's true, but I'm not going to be able to replace it until we get home. You know, I do believe you've got a point there. All righty, join hands and hold on, everybody, and we'll be back home in no time. Take a little trip, man. Take a little trip around the world and make 